Multimodal Telepresent Control of Deal Hours Rolling Justin. This video presents a telepresent system which enables a human operator to explore a remote environment via a multimodal man machine interface and rolling Justin as teleoperator. The human operator's head movements are tracked by a Viking system to command Justin's head positions. The stereo video cameras are fed back to the human to provide visual feedback. Moving Justin is enabled by using two different modes. In the driving mode, one robot of the man-machine interface is used as a velocity command source. The coupling between the arms of the man-machine interface and the teleoperator is based on a four-channel bilateral control architecture. Force, torque and position information at the end effectors are transmitted in both directions. To be able to command the robotic hands and feed back grasping forces, grasping force controllers are mounted at the light wide robots. The one dimensional movement of the grasping force controller is mapped to different grasping trajectories. Only the fingertips are used for grasping as the task requires some dexterity. The man machine interface consists of two light wide robots, a four described grasping force controllers, a head mounted display and an optical tracking system. The head mounted display is tracked by the optical markers attached to it. The communication of all components is realized by a standard UDP IP communication. This is the man machine interface from another perspective. The video projection in the background shows one eye of the head mounted display. The approach phases where the man machine interface is in driving mode are speeded up by a factor of 3. The human operator can look around in the remote environment and uses translational and rotational movements to approach the target. This is the remote environment. The orientation in the remote environment is important not to collide with any obstacles. As the field of vision is limited due to the head mounted display and the cameras, looking around gets important. This is also cause for the relative slow movements. The target is a test board where different assembly tasks can be executed. The task conducted is grasping a connector which became loose in its clamp with a cable still securely attached to it. Remove the cable from the connector by opening it and reattach the cable. The connector is of umbilical type which requires a translational movement at the beginning and afterwards, while still pulling it, a rotational movement. This task is quite complicated. Especially since the robotic hands are a factor 1.5 bigger than a normal human hand and the connector is normally sized. For the desired task, the right hand uses the thumb and the index finger and the left hand uses additionally the middle finger. The force torque sensor at the man machine interface is used to compensate the inertia of the robots. To reinsert the connector, visual marks on both sides are necessary. The stereo visualization provides enough depth information to accomplish the reinsertion. The whole task is shown in real time, only the approach phase was speeded up.